Welcome to this week's NCAA Men's Basketball Weekly Whistle video. I'm Chris Rastatter. Officials have been directed to continue their efforts to reduce physicality to create freedom of movement. They will also focus their attention on additional officiating concerns. This week's video focuses on jump shooters, flops, and fouls. The following plays illustrate closeout fouls by defenders and flops by jump shooters. An airborne shooter must be given the opportunity to land. It is imperative that we take the shooter all the way to the floor before leaving the play. If we are to correctly call flopping fouls on shooters, we can't miss closeout fouls on defenders. Blue 5 takes a shot from the corner. After he leaves the floor, White 2 closes out on Blue 5 and attempts to block the shot. In the process, White 2 does not give Blue 5 enough space to land cleanly on the floor. The trail is in perfect position to see the play. This is a closeout foul on White 2. Black 24 attempts a three-point shot late in the possession. White 5, defending on the play, makes no contact with the shooter. Again, the trail is in great position. Black 24 lands cleanly and takes himself to the floor. This is a flop by Black 24. White number one attempts a shot from behind the arc. After he leaves the floor, Blue 13 jumps toward White 1, attempting to block his try. In the process, Blue 13 does not give White 1 the opportunity to land and makes contact with his leg and foot. This is a closeout foul on Blue 13. Blue 55 takes a shot from behind the three-point line. White 1 makes a passive attempt to block the try and gives 55 room to land. As 55 shoots the ball, he clearly extends his leg and may or may not make contact with White 1. When 55 lands, he drops to the floor, attempting to fool the referee into calling a foul. This is a flop by 55 Blue. The trail, in good position to see through the play, agrees. Blue 1 takes a deep three. After he leaves the floor, White 5, while attempting to block the shot, does not jump vertically and does not allow Blue 1 the opportunity to land cleanly. Blue 1 lands on the defender's foot and falls to the floor. This is a closeout foul on White number 5. On this final play, White 25 pulls up for a jumper and Blue 4 closes out as he defends the try. Although Blue 4 is moving towards the airborne shooter, he makes no contact with White 25. And when 25 lands, he unnecessarily drops to the floor. This is a flop on White 25. Again, when little or no contact occurs and the shooter purposely takes himself to the floor, it is a flop. Defenders must establish guarded position prior to the shooter leaving the floor. What we see in these plays is that defenders close out after the shooter goes airborne. When this happens, an illegal contact occurs, it is a foul on the defense. The season is underway, and this is an exciting time for college basketball fans everywhere. Best of luck to you and your teams.